Hello everybody, this is Jonathan Gardner. Um, Repowerplay asks, how do you make a main bus or do a main bus tutorial? So, I think I shall make a main bus tutorial right now. Um, so, if you don't understand what a main bus is, this is a bus, it's a main bus. And you can kind of see it just kind of heads up here and just does stuff and things are coming in and off of it. Um, I don't know where the terminology comes from exactly. I, I think it comes from chip design. Uh, basically every chip has a bus on it and that allows different parts of the chip to communicate with each other. But unlike a chip, this is this is something particular I think only in Factorio. Um, let me just kind of drag this one out, make it all done. Um, so in chips, of course, you're dealing with electric currents and circuits and, and electric signals and stuff like that. So the stuff flows backwards and forwards. I guess the the liquids are closer parallel to uh, the main bus than anything else. And then uh, anything else. Okay, so main bus. How do you make a main bus? You just start laying down pipe, laying, laying down tracks. Make the really long track and then you start taking things off of it and putting things onto it. So this main bus is different because basically everything that I make is on the bus, uh, meaning it's connected to the main bus. And there's only a few resources, raw resources, that have to come from somewhere that are inputs to the bus. But basically everything takes something off and then puts something back on. So let me just show you the inputs really quick here. So over here we have some iron. The iron's kind of starting to run low. This guy's actually out already. And you can see it generates it from nothing. It basically, uh, it's something that just goes straight into the main bus. And there's copper down there, as you can tell. Looks like the copper's having some problems too. They shouldn't be full. So maybe we're running out. I don't know. Maybe one of these is not a whatever's. That guy's actually out of coal, but I'm not going to save this. So this is this is uh, not on the main bus. So this is just built locally, and I have to go down here to get some. Um, I do, however, take stone and put it on the main bus. I don't know where the stone comes from. Stone comes from over here. Over here on the left, it comes up and over, and it goes on the main bus. Here I'm making wood. This is Bob's Mods. This is not vanilla. So you're obviously going to have different things on the main bus. And it looks like uh, we are using a ton of wood. Maybe we need more wood factories. I don't know. It takes a long time to grow. I need to upgrade to the, uh, the fertilizer version. And this is not really a main bus, but it's main bus-like with the oil. So I have the raw oil coming in. I do not put the oil in a tank. I just take it make sure I produce enough and then wire it up this way and you go through the machines and wire it up this way. Anyway, this is a whole other story, but basically there's inputs and they're processed and then I end up with like several products that end up on the main bus, but not on belts, they end up in pipes. So you can kind of see up here what that looks like. And we find a section with lots of pipes. So you can kind of see the pipes are all flowing up in the same direction. Yeah, here's water, uh, petroleum gas. I think this is, this is a chlorine. This is hydrochloric acid. This is a sulfuric acid. And then over, I think up here, finally at the top, I make, uh, yeah, I make ferric chloride. Ferric chloride? Yeah. So you can see that's, that's kind of what the main bus looks like. And here I kind of did an experiment where it kind of all shifts to the right because I no longer use a resource. Like this iron, iron ore is no longer used after this. There's no reason to continue it up there. So I did some experiments kind of different with this main bus. One of the experiments is, Normally what I do is I build like the processing plants to build like steel plate and iron plate and stuff like that and then bring it into the main bus. But here I'm actually building it off of the main bus. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's go through. Actually, let's take a simple process here. Here's a simple process. So we're taking iron plate and we're converting that to iron gears. And iron plate to iron gear ratio is you need two iron plates to make one iron gear and it takes half a second. I'm not going to research anything. About that. I'm not going to save anything. So... Uh, ignore this part really quick. Just ignore this. Okay, so we have iron plate coming up, or we would have iron plate coming up if I had built it the normal way, but I didn't. So here's the iron plate coming up into the splitter, and half of it goes this way, and half of it goes that way, and then the half comes down here. I leave a little room for me to run up and down. Later on, I might have a car, and so it's kind of nice having a place that I can run that car without running into things too much. This is the maximum distance for the level one underground belts, and in vanilla factory, that's the maximum distance for any belt. And you just pull it off here. You have your little factory process, and you bring it back on. Um, and then you bring the product 
and you basically pipe it up onto the bell. And if you had product coming up, this would be joining with it. So you'd be, you'd be resupplying whatever stock was already there. I don't do that in this MUN bus yet, where I have stock on a bus and I try to re, re, resupply it. But I could if I'm running like short. If, um, like for instance, if I'm building gears here and there's something down the line that uses a ton of gears, let's find something that uses gears. Uh, here's something that uses gears right here. This guy's taking gears. They're doing half belt on one side copper on the other side and it's going down. And up here we're using some more gears it looks like and this is using gears for making belts and yet again we're using gears here for making uh, inserters so you can kind of see that you branch off and you can branch on um, there's not a lot to this you'll figure it out if you just start thinking about it um, here's this is a really complicated intersection here I have copper coming off and then I have uh, circuits coming on right next to each other because of the way it's laid out over here. So if I move the screen over this way, right? So you can see I have the boards coming here, the copper coming here, and the circuits going out here. And then I have to translate that to the main bus. I have to have the copper match up here and this thing match up here. Okay. And here we have something that happens every once in a while where I do like half on one side, half on the other. So I have uh, gears that I have copper plate and I'm using extensive use of, of these underground belts to make sure things can pass through properly and the reason why I group up by four is because that's the natural distance so it just makes it really easy I'll show you an example of that up here near the end of the bus that's the reason why you group it by four is it just makes it so much easier to manage and make some things possible that would otherwise be impossible to do all right so here's a good example so um, if you notice I'm bringing two products all the way down here and rather than having like you know eight underground belts and 16 over here I just have uh, four and eight so I'm actually saving 50 percent on my uh, on my stuff um, so anyway the different ways you can get stuff off the bus one is you just take a full pipe like this both sides bring it down 100 percent bring it down that works are we running out of space here nope not yet. We will eventually. Um, so this is pretty typical. This is probably what you're going to do the most of. Another example is when you do half of one and half of another. This is what it looks like when they're side by side because you can't put the splitter right here. You have to move it up once you can get the underground belt going. If they were separated more, let's see if we can find an example of that where I'm doing half of one and half of the other and they're separated by a bit. Um, here we go. So this one is separated by a bit. And you can see I'm bringing the plastic down here. I'm just wrapping it around, making it work. And this one, the plastic is all the way over here, coming off the bus there. Um, this is an oddity here. I normally don't do this, but this is just because things wouldn't fit, and I figured out a way to make it work. So I had to go off to the left. So you can branch off to the left. You can branch off to the right either way. Um, down here is something that you see every once in a while on my buses. You see an empty belt, so that I only come on the half belt. And that's because I'm going to put something else on the other side. As you can see here, I'm making uh, calcium chloride. I'm putting it on the other side of the belt. So I leave a space there for the calcium chloride. So that's another half belting technique. And of course, you can you can imagine doing it to the other side if you really wanted to. Like for instance, if I wanted the stone to go on one side, then I'd do this. I'd go. Doo -doo -doo. Well, in this case, it wouldn't quite work because it's too close. But anyway, you, you can play around and mess around and figure things out. I have why do I have quartz coming down here that I don't actually use? This is not right. This is not right. I'm going to fix this. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know about main buses. Um, the, the biggest questions you're going to run into is what do you put on the main bus? And the answer to that is things that are generally useful. Um, things that might be used for more than one process. So just as an example, here's coal. You can see coal is being used here. It's being used here. It's being used here. It's being used in a lot of different places. It's being used here, it's being used here, it's being used here. The iron ore is being used, but up here, after here, I'm no longer gonna use it for anything. So I just pipe it off, I'm done. And then I shift all the belts to the right just to kind of conserve space and also because I wanted to see what it would look like. That's what it does. But um, you probably wouldn't want to put research on the main bus. I mean, you could, but I wouldn't. I just kind of do research off to the side. So just let me show you what that looks like. So I have research just going down away from the main bus. 
and here's the factory here's the research science centers and i could just keep building i could build like three more i think i will eventually probably in a few episodes and blue science um and bob's mods is ridiculously complicated to make so it takes quite a lot of work to get to blue science so that's what this looks like up here I'm not even there yet am i almost there and we're there okay so blue science is made up here and it comes all the way down here all the way down there um so you want to avoid uh, another thing you want to avoid is putting products that um, have multiple quantities so here we have these guys they make five at a time right it takes two ingredients and makes five output and it's probably not a good idea to put these on the main bus and if you watched i think it was last episode the episode before last i actually rebuilt my um electric circuit thing because um i wasn't getting enough uh, uh basic electronic components on the bus the, the 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 belt just simply couldn't handle it however these that said these are generally useful for other processes and although I'm not using it here anymore, let's go ahead and repair that. Um, although I'm not using it here, I am using it up here for the electronic, the transistors. Or I don't know what they are, diodes or whatever they are. They're coming down here, doing half belt on one side and half belt on the other side. And they're coming down here for production of the white circuits, the electronic circuit boards. So, yeah. so generally you want to put copper wire on the main bus. You could, but you're going to need faster belts. And when you upgrade to blue belts and you really start thinking about production and, you know, capacities and stuff like that, you're going to wish you didn't have copper on the main bus. So you want to avoid that. So like here, I need the copper wire for these these basic wooden circuits. I don't know, what are they called? Basic circuit boards. And I just, I just build them locally. And I think up here for tinned copper wire, I'm doing the same thing. I just build it locally. So I'm not really using the copper wire on the main bus at all. So you have to think carefully what you do one or the other. Another thing to think about is I used to build main buses on both sides. Um, that causes two problems. Number one, it limits the width of your main bus. Number two, it's really difficult to have these things working left and right. It just it just they just interfere with each other it's hard enough getting one side hooked up but getting two sides hooked up is just it's almost impossible so i highly recommend not building on on two sides of the main bus um this one is a source it can change this guy is going to limit the size of the main bus eventually but i don't know i'm planning on putting a train station down here or something but probably not realistically probably not going to put it there and what else is there to say? Um, one thing is that they use a tremendous number of uh, belts. So as you can see, one of the first things I built in my factory was this uh, was this belt factory. Um, because that's because you use so many belts um, when building your main bus. So just, you know, early on, just build a factory to build your belts and just build up a huge supply of them and just keep building them and don't stop. And that's what you got to do if you want to uh, build your main bus. So. I don't know what else to add about that. So that's my main bus tutorial. Um, you'll discover the rest on your own as you play around with your own main buses. And uh, oh, I should mention one more thing. When you do upgrade the buses, it's it's tedious. There's some mods you can use to automatically upgrade the belts, which is nice, but it is tedious. And blue belts are, end up being a lot very expensive because they use a ton, a metric ton of iron um, so you have to upgrade your, I'm going to have to upgrade my iron capacity if I'm going to want to build blue belts at any significant capacity, significant quantity. The blue belt recipe in this game in Bob's Mods is the same as in vanilla, so either way, you're going to use a ton of iron, a ton of gears. And uh, another thing that I do is I skip red. I only use red as kind of a stopgap. So right now in my factory, the only place I have red, red belts is right here. And that's only so I can get full compression. If I didn't have the reds on there, I wouldn't be getting full compression. That's the only reason I'd use reds. Um, I just go from yellow to blue, so I skip reds altogether. Anyway, if you have questions about how to build a main bus, or what a main bus is for, or how they work, um, you can ask me. Uh, one little innovation. I don't think it's really an innovation, but um, let's say here we have an example of the tinned copper wire here. 
10 copper wires coming off, but it's not quite enough. Let's say that we maxed this out so it was like completely loaded to, I need to get more 10. It was completely maxed out, like a full belt was coming in and we're going up and there's like six or seven processes that use it and they're sucking it off, but it's still not enough. And like by the time you get, you know, here, it's like this belt is still empty of, of 10 copper wire. You, you can feel free to just import more or even build another 10 copper wire factory as needed in your in your bus in your layout um, I'm I'm probably gonna go the way well I'll just well, I'll just uh, build them off-site like in a train station far away bring them in and just jam them in straight into the bus at the beginning if I can that's kind of my plan um, uh, what else to mention uh, oh yeah one nice thing about main buses is if you want to know your factory's production, and what's limiting the factory. All I need to do is look at the bus. So looking here, I can see I have enough coal, I have enough iron ore, I have enough iron plates, I have enough gears, I have enough copper plates. These are all great. You know, these ones that are full, I have plenty of. The ones that are empty are ones you need more of. So I think this is 10 plates. I need more 10 plates. And I need more of these blue circuits. So once you recognize your shortages like this, it's pretty easy to see what the, what the limiting factor is. And then Another thing to note is like, even though up here, the tin copper wire, there's plenty of it down here. You can tell there's obviously a shortage. So at different parts in the bus, especially earlier in the bus, you'll see the shortage is more pronounced. So here we can see we need definitely more tin. You know, if that were full, it, uh, it would mean we're fine, but we're not. So let's just do a quick upgrade here. If I have the steel furnaces, I thought I built a whole bunch of them. Well, let's build some right now just to kind of show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna upgrade my tin processing. I think I need more ore too. You see I have ore on the bus. This ore is pretty light. So let's go plop down some more mining drills to get some more ore coming out. Oh shoot, we have a problem here, Houston. These are level ones. Let's make four. Oh, I can only build one more, huh? All right, that might help a little bit. But I do need some more. There's ten ore up there. Hello, ten ore. Make sure not to pick up any copper. Hey, you. So this is what I'm doing. I am just adding some more capacity to try to fill up this bus, this belt of ten ore. And that should do it. That should be almost enough, at least. Maybe I could fit another one. Let's try it again. Uh, let's put you up here. Make sure that no copper gets on there. That would be bad. There we go. So we have three on one side and three on the other. That's about for Bob's mods, the right number. Um, so there we go. And yep, sure enough, we have a pretty full belt. Pretty full belt of ten ore. So ten ore is happy. This this guy is pretty sad down here too. I think this is Gal uh, Galena Galena. So let's drop a couple more down. I only have one more. I need to make more of these guys. I think I need more circuits. Uh, let's drop off these uh, furnaces now. We made some furnaces. Oh, I have 20 of them. Hello. We're going to double your capacity here. All right. So you can see now that he has plenty of this resource. We just need to make more of this. So that's kind of what you do with the main bus, as you can see just by looking. Like, hey, you you know, Galena might be a little light. I mean, it is pulling from one side. It seems to be just barely keeping up. But you can see there's enough lead plates coming out, so that's not a concern. It's a tin plates. It's a tin plates that we're not quite getting enough of. So we need to expand operations here and make more. So, yep, that's buses. Main bus. Fun. So if you have any more questions about the main bus, I'll answer them with the video. Thanks for that. Take care, and bye-bye.